Hi guys, my name is James Gaming and welcome to um, an E3 overview is what I'd like to call it. And hopefully when I meet this guy I can really talk. Uh, E3 had recently uh, happened and I just couldn't be asked to make anything about it. Mainly because I didn't really know what was going on. Uh, luckily after I did check all the trailers, uh, well most of the main trailers I wanted to see, especially PlayStation, Sony kind of stuff. I didn't really check anything else. But uh, there are a couple of trailers I'd like to talk to you about. One of them being um, Dead Island, actually mainly on Dead Island, the new Dead Island, and um, probably Battle of Hardline, and also Call of Duty, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, I literally cannot move my face very much as I try to do a new hairstyle. So yeah, kind of fucked over on that one. And you know what? It's not going well at all. Anytime. So you have to put it in a certain position. And then every time I do it, I can't move. Because if I move, a tiny bit of it falls down. And I haven't figured out how to stop that yet. And I'm not using products. Because I don't, I don't use products. So anyway, uh, I'd like to get straight on, of, on about it with uh, Dead Island. Now, Dead Island is an, the newest edition of Dead Island. Uh, the last one was Riptide. And Riptide was made a long time ago. I still love Riptide. Mainly because it's amazing, amazingness being that, well, it was just a silly game where you could run around with machine guns and drink weird shit and do other weird shit. I liked it. I don't, I don't know why I don't play it anymore. I think I sold it. Did I sell it? No. I, I've promised myself not to sell any zombie games. But anyway, uh, so the new game is uh, currently in development. And a one advert came out from a E3, and it looked so cool. What it is is it's a man uh, running down the beach, very fake man actually, uh, with a lot of prosthetics, and you know, like all people in California. But uh, that's not the main part of it. The main part of it is it's new. The second Dead Island is really good because it means that now instead of just a one-off or two-off game, it could actually turn into a franchise, which would be amazing. Um, the game is currently to be put out at for, uh, 2015, the 27th of April, as I checked, and it is a PS4 and Xbox One exclusive only, it will not be coming to PS3 or Xbox 360, which gives me more of a reason to get a PS4, because, to be honest, I love Dead Island, I've always loved Dead Island, I always loved the series, I'm amazed I didn't get the first one, because I did like that one the most, uh, well, most of all, the storyline. I think I liked uh, the other one. Uh, what, was, what was the other one? Riptide. Mainly because it was just so funny. But, um, so, what is going on is that uh, it's a new zombie game, which is the new Dead Island. Ah. So it's a new Dead Island, just based in a different place. Now, from what I saw, it was this Gucci Beach in California. And on the billboard at the back, it says California. But there, I thought I saw a, the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. I could have been wrong. I thought I saw it, but maybe I was wrong. Um, which means that it is a California. So it's pretty much going to be like Zombie Grand Theft Auto. And for, for most of my life, I've always wanted a Zombie Grand Theft Auto. So this is just like a dream come true to me. Unfortunately, it's not going to be on PS3, so I'm really disappointed. But that's not the point. The point is, there is there, an, uh, there is a new Dead Island. Which makes me really happy. Like always. I always like to see new stuff. Especially new games I love. Oh god, I'm dead. Um, so I'm hoping uh, more information will come out in during this week. I know that there's meant to be a demo at, at PAX, which is quite useful. PAX is one of those games where, uh, game things that, that, you know, everyone releases shit. E3 is the same, but, mm, PAX you get a lot more, because they have time to make a demo. Now, I probably won't be going to PAX, because it's in America, and I never go to America. I mean, because I don't have the money to go there every half a year just to play a game for, like, 30 subscribers. I mean, if I had the money, I would, but I don't. M maybe if it was, like, 30,000. I might be able to pull the money for it. But I don't think I have the money yet, so. Whoops. Um, right. Also, uh, what else is there? Uh, 
so as I was saying about the, the timing, uh, it's going to be on next year, which will probably be pretty good timing actually, because a slimmer version of the PlayStation will come up, probably come out, which means I'll probably make a bundle about it. Ah, oh, crap, 5% battery. Oh well. <sighs> and bundles are always good, because it means they're cheaper, it means they're nicer. Um, but really, there's not a lot to do with De uh, Dead Island at the moment, because not a lot of information's been leaked. The only information that I know about is that a possible helicopter event could happen. Uh, limos will most likely be drivable, like in the last one, there were cars and things. Uh, they based main, mainly their zombies on uh, 28 Days Later, I think. I'm not sure if they did DayZ or anything, but... And I'm not sure if they did World War Z. Because that infection killed that guy pretty quickly. I'll, uh, I'll leave a trailer link in the comments for Dead Island. I'll try and get the ones for... Uh, yeah, Battlefield and uh, Call of Duty. But they, they, they don't really explain a lot. And the music in Dead Island is just so cool, so... You know. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping they're going to be pretty cool guns. Um, there are also resistance or NPCs that you see, especially at the end where they drive in a van and blow up that guy's like body and then steal his shoes, which was a bit mean. But they were nice shoes. So I'm, I think that's pretty cool. Again, it's like the first Dead Island where it's the virus on the island. There are a couple of people that are immune to it, so every all of them are dead, and they're just, like, a couple people. Which should be pretty good. I'm hoping there are more energy drinks. Actually, yeah, if I'm hoping anything, I'm hoping that we can, like, throw stuff at the zombies or something. I'm hoping we can wear masks, actually. I want to go down to the Stooge Beach and just buy a mask and create my Grand Theft Auto character. With, with thingy, though. Like a zombie version of my Grand Theft Auto character, maybe. Now that would be cool. But to be honest, we have a lot of time to wait. About a year, so... Yeah. Everyone's probably going to be excited. I'm hoping for a beta to come out very soon, but I'm not too sure about it. I don't know, maybe there will be a beta. Um, they don't really make betas for offline games, do they? Not that I know of. I mean... I had a beta for Battlefield, I had a beta for some flying game that usually is on iPad but is on PlayStation now. I don't know, it's all multiplayer anyway. So, um, I don't know, I'm hoping for a beta, but maybe there won't be, I don't know. Still trying to figure it out. Uh, what else? So, uh, uh, I think we should probably move on from this, because I'm starting to make me rubble up and it will just be stupid in the end. So, I think we should move on to Advanced Warfare. Now, Advanced Warfare should be coming this year, I think either in November or October. I can't really remember the date, because I was looking at Battlefield Hardline as well. So, yeah. Um, it's based on pretty much, uh, if you've ever seen the movie Elysium, it's pretty much that. Guys in mechs that just, you know, fuck each other up with machine guns from Black Ops 2 and with new retextured maps and yeah sounds like every other Call of Duty that's ever been made so there's not really much to say about it. I don't know if the campaign will be a lot different probably be a lot like Black Ops 2 don't know maybe I'm not too sure a bit confused hmm I'm trying to think of options like would there be wouldn't there be I want to see a cool gun I know you have a mech suit but Eh, it just looks so boring. It just looks like the 2025 mission where you wear a mech suit. There's not much more to say than that. Wear a mech suit. It's Call of Duty. One of your beloved characters will probably die. Well, actually, no, this is a lot of a different Call of Duty. This, this isn't made by the same people. Uh, Warhammer, I believe the people who helped make Modern Warfare 3 actually developed this game. So, yeah. Maybe we'll have something new now. Is this the wrong? No. I heard a beep and I thought it was my headset. So, anyway. So, I'm hoping this will be an all new Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's never going to be an all new Call of Duty. Unless, like, some other company takes over and there's going to be zombies. 
Now that, that I hope. That I hope indeed. Oh. Um, but yeah, there's not really much to say about that one. I guess I'll, I might put the thing in the description, but it, it doesn't look very big. It doesn't look very nice. It's just another Call of Duty, I guess. I mean, it really looks boring. I like the democracy thing. You know, it goes democracy, democracy, dem that's like my favorite thing about the Call of Duty, the new one. But uh, that's probably about it. There wasn't much to say about that. There's never anything much to say about that. But if you pre-order now, apparently you get some bomb shit that you can put on your back of your shitties. Armory shit. Stuff shit. So yeah. Buy now. Only forty nine ninety nine. No, I'm kidding. I don't know how much it is. Probably like 50 bucks. Ah! 50 pounds. 50 bucks. 50 pennies. It'll go down in price by the end of like October. Something. I mean... They haven't even made a special edition, which is really disappointing, because I like special editions. I'm, hope I'm hoping they make a special edition for Dead Island. Oh, crap, I already fucked that one up, didn't I? Oh, but I got on to the next one. Um, now with the new Battlefield, they've kind of taken a different leap from this one. They've taken more of a Cops vs. Robbers, uh, Battlefield Hardline, you know, fucking heists for GTA. It, it kind of looks pretty cool. like. It's not really worth fifty pounds or forty-five pounds or something, but I mean, considering there's a beta out already, you can really play that until and then just decide if you like it or not. To be honest, I don't know if I would like it because it just seems seems kind of a bit of a, like a map add-on with a new game mode. So they could just make Battlefield Five with a new add-on, which would seem simpler than just doing all that shit. But this isn't really made again. This isn't really made by the same company. This is made by a newer company that helped make some other. I think it was a Mass Effect. I don't, I don't really know. I'm, I'm quite confused now. Everyone keeps changing who they're using, and it just it's really weird. But I'm guessing that maybe uh, fucking uh, I might just quit this business. It takes too long. But um. I will definitely add a, tra a good trailer in there because it, it looks really fun to play. Cops and robbers kind of shit style. I was like, surprise motherfucker. Shit. Which doesn't sound too bad actually. I mean, I've been recently playing, been playing Ghosts again, but again, this was like one of those unloved games at the beginning. You only play it because everyone starts playing it. But to be honest, I doubt people will buy uh, any because it just looks like it sucks. Um, I will look for more of the E3 stuff. I know there's a new exclusive minecraft the adventure-looking game. I can't really remember it. I like All My Skies or something. I don't know. I'll have to redo that, but I think that's coming up 2015 as well. To be honest, there is a white PlayStation, I believe, coming out soon, which I know I really want because, like, it looks different. I always like white as well. I don't know why. It's just one of those things, I guess. But I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm hoping that get one of them soon or something so I can play the game but to be honest I will literally just buy a PlayStation for Dead Island 2 but 4? do I know about Dead Island 4? my god I have seen the future well yeah that's very much it I'll leave any description that I missed out in the comments I'll put a tr link to the trailer in the comments and I guess that's about it. Um, if, if you really want, I can make a new video about my hairstyle, but that's a bit too much, really. So, uh, yeah, I guess this is it, guys. So, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Don't subscribe. Don't comment. Unsubscribe. I, I don't really know what you want to do, but, you know, it's, it's all, yeah. But anyway, guys, thanks. So, uh, I'll see you later. Bye.